Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on choriocarcinoma. Choriocarcinoma is a cancer that develops from the trophoblastic cells. It rapidly invades the myometrium and uterine vessels and also causes systemic metastasis. It can be a consequence of normal pregnancy or miscarriage or hydal piriform mor. In choriocarcinoma, there is no chorionic villi identified and it is a rare disease. However, it is aggressive and highly vascular. The modes of spread can be through hematogenous embolization due to the high affinity of trophoblast cell for blood vessels. So it can spread to the lungs, the brain, liver, upper and lower gastrointestinal tract, lower gestational tract, and also kidney. Whereas for direct spread, it can spread to the parametrium, the fallopian tubes, and the ovary. The clinical features include persistent irregular vagina bleeding, which can occur after labor evacuation and the bleeding can occur within days but rarely occur after two years. Vaginal discharge, which are blood stain and offensive in odor due to the ulceration and infection of the growth. Amenorrhea due to continuous beta HCG production, acute abdominal pain, which can occur due to intraperitoneal hemorrhage, due to perforation of the uterus by the growth of the choriocarcinoma, which invades the uterine wall. There can also be metastatic symptoms such as shortness of breath, hemoptysis where there is coughing up blood, jaundice and also neurological symptoms. There might also be metastatic nodules seen in the vulva or vagina. For investigations, uterine curettage can be done for cases of vagina bleeding after labor. Serum beta HCG if there is persistent rise after evacuation of the hydrophiliform mole, we have to suspect for choriocarcinoma. Imaging studies such as chest x-ray or CT scan for the lung, liver, bone and brain to look for distant metastasis. And remember, do not take biopsy from the metastatic nodules. Let's look at the staging of choriocarcinoma, which is called as FIGO staging. Stage 1, the choriocarcinoma is confined within the uterus. Stage 2, the cancer extends outside the uterus, but it is limited to genital structures such as adnexa, vagina and the broad ligament. Stage 3, there is metastasis to the lungs with or without genital tract metastasis, whereas stage 4, there are distant metastasis to other organs, which include the brain, the kidney, and the liver. Another scoring for choriocarcinoma is this WHO prognostic scoring system, where the system is scored based on the age of the patient, antecedent pregnancy, whether there is hydrophilipon mole or abortion, interval months from index pregnancy, pre-treatment serum HCG, the largest tumor size, where is the site of metastasis, and how many metastasis, and whether there is a previous fail chemotherapy. So we total up the score of the patient, and if it is less than 4, there is low risk. 5 to 7 intermediate risk, and more than 8 is high risk. For management, the main treatment is chemotherapy, and the cure rate is excellent with chemotherapy. So the patients will be assigned to groups based on the FIGO staging, the WHO scoring system, or combination of both scoring systems. Based on these systems, appropriate chemotherapy regime are given to the patient. And in cases if they are resistant to chemotherapy, or the patient is close to menopausal age, can consider doing hysterectomy. That's all for this video, thank you.